Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for today because today is Saturday, July 20th and it is officially the day of Galindo's and my engagement party. My family, his family, like they've all been doing so much and we went over there today to drop some things off and it wasn't even set up yet, okay? Like only the tables and chairs were out and some umbrellas. The decor, they weren't gonna do anything until we left but just seeing that alone, it was already so beautiful. It's gonna be a super intimate party there's gonna be a total of around 50 people I would say and one thing that's making me even more excited about today is the fact that we're actually going to be giving our proposal boxes to our bridal party as well as our officiant I feel like this is officially kicking off the year for our engagement and I'm just super grateful for everyone just it's only the first party and I already know how much help and how much they've done it's honestly crazy to me but I'm super excited about today today I've just been making sure to hydrate have electrolytes and just make sure that I feel good so that I could be alive and well for the party. As you can see, I've already done my hair. I'm starting my makeup right now. It is currently 312. Galindo is going to come by around 445 to pick me up and the party officially starts at five. My only concern about today is that it's super, super hot. So I'm really hoping that it starts to cool down sooner than later so that people aren't all up in the heat. Thank God my family did get umbrellas so they're not gonna be like right under the sun. The theme for the party I think is so beautiful. It's just like a really pretty summer garden type theme. Everyone is currently at my mom's house setting up. I am obviously getting ready. You can see my dress is behind me. I did steam that a little bit earlier today and I'm really hoping it looks the way that I'm kind of envisioning it. One thing about today that kind of sucks is the fact that I ended up starting my period last night and so I'm like out of all days, I'm literally wearing a white dress today. So I just have to be really careful but it is what it is. We're gonna get through it. I feel like it's starting to feel real at this point and after this I do want to start scheduling appointments to go look at dresses. Uh, Glendo and I have already spoken to the DJ. We did have the option by our venue to pick between four different DJs, but honestly, the first one that we spoke with was immediately the one that we knew we were going to go with. So we do have to confirm with him this week and put our deposit in for that. And then we have officially chosen our wedding colors. So we do have to try to schedule something with the florist as well. It's going to be a little bit tricky from here on out trying to schedule things just because I did recently get a part-time job. Um, the good thing is at least I get my schedule a week in advance so I can kind of predict that way but we're gonna have to be scheduling things kind of as they come just because between balancing my full-time job my part-time job and everything else in between it's just gonna be a little bit tricky and then I have to accommodate to everybody else's schedules as well because since we are announcing our bridal party today we also have to accommodate the schedules for the girls the guys are gonna be a lot easier really suits are so much different than dresses the suits are all gonna look the same while the dresses we want to make sure to accommodate to the body type of each girl and then I'm so excited for my flower girls that's honestly one one of the things that I really just can't wait for is to go shopping and have the little girls experience that with us as well. I do have some ideas of what kind of dress that I'm looking for, but obviously anything can change once I actually start trying things on. So I do want to make sure that I'm open to other ideas and other styles just in case the one that I have pictured in my mind isn't going to be the best one to favor me. Today we are definitely going with some full coverage. I honestly don't really like using primer. The only primer I've actually ever liked that I keep forgetting to restock on was the elf one. Um, it was that super sticky greenish blue one. Now I am putting a lot of product on today. It's going to be super hot. So I probably am going to be sweating. The party starts at five. I don't know how late it's going to end and I'm going to be taking a bunch of pictures today. So I want to make sure that my face looks flawless because I did end up breaking out from the stinking period. I'm like, could I have not started before this? If I would have started before my skin would have been perfect right now I wouldn't have to worry about anything like oh, thank god for makeup because if I didn't wear any oh my gosh or didn't even know how to apply it I really hope this matches me though because my shade has been changing constantly ever since I started my training plan that Nikki made for me for my running I've been trying to be aware of what time I go for a run so that I don't have this like mismatch color between my body and my face so the times that I've been going for runs are super early in the morning or in my garage on my treadmill because I didn't want to go through the hassle of having to try on a million different foundations to match my color. I was going to do a whole video dedicated to like the proposal boxes and trust me,
me, I tried so hard, but I feel like it just wasn't coming out the way that I thought it was going to. So that one kind of ended up being a bust, but for sure, I do want to make sure to get my engagement party. So Lauren is actually going to be doing me the favor of filming the party for me. Since you guys already know, she has a vlog channel as well. She's been the most consistent and the best with her editing. If I trust anyone with a camera to film the party today, it's gonna be Lauren. So she's gonna be doing that. My friend Jennifer is seriously the sweetest. She is our main photographer. She photographs all of our family photos and events and parties and things like that. And she's actually the one that took the pictures when we got engaged. And she reached out to me today and I thought it was the sweetest thing. She asked if she could take pictures of our party today as her gift to us and i'm just i think that's the sweetest thing honestly there's no better gift than to have something like a memory you can really look back on and so of course i said yes but on top of her taking professional pictures what i also did was i bought a few kodak cameras and i'm gonna have my sisters walk around the tables and just the party itself and just take like really cute disposable camera pictures and i want to make those into a photo album once the party's over just because i think it would just be really fun and cute i feel like it looks like super intimate we're gonna get a combination of kodak disposable and professional which i think is amazing so she's gonna get there early i think she said she's gonna get there around 4 30 so that she can also get some pictures of the details of the party and so i'm really glad because my family we love to plan parties but when they actually come we're always too busy and forget to take pictures of all the little details so to have someone there knowing that like okay she's gonna take care of that for us is just amazing i have some false lashes that i'm going to try on which i probably should have done a little bit earlier i do have to do an updated makeup routine for you guys i've definitely changed a lot of my products i have found some new favorites i've found some that just are not what i like to use anymore or i finished them but mostly because i had to and not because they were my go-to i don't like having products sit forever unused and i would rather finish it and i usually my least favorite products i tend to to use them on the days where I'm either not gonna see anybody or I'm just working but like I really don't care what my makeup looks like as long as I have makeup on if you know what I mean honestly in this economy to throw away anything that goes unused I, I just can't okay it's 325 I have a whole hour I don't know why I feel rushed but I have more than enough time on the bright side though I have very much been sticking to a clean diet I made my own nutrition plan and I have been following it to a T it's been super balanced as well so I don't feel deprived or anything like that and I've definitely been noticing the progress of that so this week alone I ended up losing four pounds and that might seem like a lot or like it was super fast but I'm by no means under eating trust me this is actually the most I've ever eaten food is definitely what has shifted everything for me I've been having a lot of green tea and a lot of water throughout the day I've also been making sure to have at least one salad a day to where the majority of my plate is green. I have super high fiber, high protein breakfasts. I'm very much calculating how much protein. I don't have any less than 100 grams of protein a day and that's really changing everything for me because I feel like I'm losing weight in a very balanced way. Also, because of the types of foods that I choose, I'm not hungry throughout the day and I don't feel the need to snack. Sure, if I, if I want a snack, I'll get one and I'll calculate that into my day, but I'm not constantly looking for something to reach for and that is very new to me i never thought i would be in a place where food wasn't on my mind and i thank god so much every day that i'm finally there just super happy where i'm at right now i'm gonna do my eyebrows and grab the fake lashes i'm just gonna show you guys what i look like once i'm fully ready okay so here is the final look i actually really love how my hair turned out i feel like it has just enough volume the curls aren't too tight but they're not too loose either like it actually ended up turning out really nicely and then this is my makeup. I'm gonna put my lip products in the car. You guys already know I always wait until the end for that. But I did end up going with some false lashes, which I just ended up choosing a classic set from Lashify. And you can have them up to 10 days. You don't have to take them off immediately. But I really, really like them. They're a really good alternative to lash extensions. Kind of like in between that and just the actual false lashes. My jewelry, the green necklace, as well as this gold one right here are both from Ana Luisa. And then this one I just ended up getting from TJ Maxx. 
looks. My bracelets are super old. I couldn't even tell you where I got them from. Of course, I have my engagement ring, and you guys already know I never take my aura ring off. I ended up painting my nails last night, so they're not the best work, but honestly, they're gonna do. Nobody's gonna zoom in. And then I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. I did completely forget, though, that it needed a slip because it's super see-through, and I didn't have one, so I ended up having a really long white dress that I actually ended up putting on underneath. It's not too thick either, so even though it's gonna be super hot today, I think it'll be fine. The only thing is it is just a little bit too long for me, but overall, this is my engagement party outfit, and I'm super in love with this dress. I'll link it down below. Glenda's already here. He's loading up a few things. We have to put all the Brimholes boxes in the car, and we will officially be on our way. I'll see you guys at the party. and Galindo, y'all are getting married. Finally. <laughs> Honestly, finally for sure. Yeah. I'm so happy for both of you and what God has planned for your life. Some nice wisdom and tips and tricks uh, is Alex is going to be likely always right. Um, spend, spend, spend as much time as you can not choosing places to eat. Don't waste time choosing places to eat because if you added up all that time, it would be years of your marriage and life. Safety arguments. That's a good, good tip, right? And then, uh, hey, have some babies, all right? <laughs> yeah, we love you guys, and we're so happy for you. We're so excited <laughs> that your special day is finally here. It's coming. You'll be missed. You guys have been great igniters to us and great strengths to us. So we love you. And I would say to slow down and enjoy your wedding planning and enjoy your wedding day because it goes by so quick. And all the time and effort that you put into it, all the money, you just want to slow down and enjoy it. Amen. Yeah. Savor it. Yeah. We love you guys. Enjoy your time. We love you all. Congratulations. Yes. What's up? Miho, we're proud of you. <laughs> Super happy for you guys. We love you. The wedding's just one day. Enjoy the honeymoon. That's what it's really about anyway, man. Hey. <laughs> it, sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it has been a great blessing to see what God has done for you guys and for you guys. I couldn't have seen a better pairing for each of you, and I'm very excited to see what God has in store for the both of you. We're excited for more married friends, so welcome to the club. Love you guys. Hi, Alex. Hi, Joseph. Uh, we just wanted to take a second and tell you guys, how, for me, how proud I am of you guys. You know, seeing you guys grow up in church, me taking the time to get to know you, Alex, and Joseph over the last 10, 15 years, getting to know you and seeing you guys come together in the way that you have. It's really been a blessing for me, and you know, I, I couldn't be happier. I, I love you guys. And, takes you and, and all the kids that you guys are going to have. <laughs> yeah, to piggyback off what you said, I'm really happy for you guys too. I love you guys. And it's been so neat to see your guys' relationship from the start and I'm really excited for you guys and all that's to come. You guys deserve everything you guys are Love you guys. Hi, Alex and Joseph. Just want to welcome Alex into our family. We're so excited and looking forward to the big day. Congratulations. I love you both and I can't wait. Congratulations, Alex and Joseph.
Thank you guys all so much for coming. Honestly, you really don't know how how much we appreciate you guys all being here. We really want to make sure like we had our closest people here. People that knew us from like our whole story, you know, from the beginning and we couldn't have bit, have picked a better group of people to be around. We genuinely feel so loved by all of you guys and honestly everyone just that helped with this party. I know like both of our families just did so much and we just really want to thank you guys for all coming and we wanted to take the opportunity to announce and give our proposal boxes to our bridal party. Okay, so we're going to call your name one by one. If you could just come up. We have Jacqueline. Woo! California Cowboy, so... Brandon. excited for you guys to come together and start your marriage and your life together. Alex and Glindo, uh, we're, I'm just super excited for you guys. Um, you guys are great, like one of the best people I know. So giving and loving and just there for anybody and now we're just excited to be there for you guys. For anything you guys need in your life, any new chapter that you guys are going to uh, embark and we're just we're excited for you, we're praying for you. 
I just know you guys are going to have a great marriage and uh, I'm just happy for you guys. Aww. <laughs>